This video guides an organization on how to navigate CorpPass and add the NSPay eService to your company's list. Assign and remove access to the NSPay eService for your employees and grant and remove authorization of third-party entities to transact on behalf of your organization. First, key in the CorpPass URL on your browser. Please note that you must have a CorpPass account to manage your organization's access to the NSPay eService. If your organization does not have one, please register for one on the CorpPass website. Next, log in using SyncPass. Once you've logged into the CorpPass page, scroll down and click on the eService Access tab, followed by Select Entities eServices. Enter Mindef into the search box. Then wait for the filter to return with your search results. Select the eService with the description Mindef and MHA and NSPay and click Next. Then key in your organization's CSN and click Next. Once you're on the verification page, scroll down to confirm the details under the Verify Selected eServices section and click Submit. You have successfully added the one NSPay eService to your organization's list of eServices. You are now ready to grant your employees access to the eService in CorpPass. To grant your employees access to the One NSPay eService in CorpPass, log on to CorpPass. Click the eService Access tab, followed by Assign Selected eServices. Under the Selected Users section, you can view a list of your organization's employees who have been granted access to CorpPass. Select the employee whom you want to assign access to NSPay, then click Next. Under Select eServices, select the eService with Mindef, MHA, and NSPay in the description, then click Next. On the Enter Details section, scroll down and provide the additional details required. Select the appropriate role from the drop-down menu that your employee is required to perform. For example, if they are required to manage NS Makeup Pay Claims, select the NSP user role. If they wish to register a new organization profile or update your organization's profile, select the NSP Admin role. An employee can be assigned both the NSP User and NSP Admin roles at the same time. Select the CSN and key in the authorization effective date. Please note that the authorization expiry date will limit the duration of access for the particular user, which may lead to a disruption and delay the claim process. On the verification page, after confirming the details are correct, click Submit. You will then be directed to an acknowledgement page. You have successfully assigned access to the NSPay eService to your employees. You can now manage NS Makeup Pay Claims on the One NSPay eService for Mindef and MHA NS activities by going to the One NS Portal URL on their browser. Next you will learn how to remove an employee's access. For employees who have left your organization or changed job scope and are no longer managing NS Makeup pay claims, their access should be removed. Here are the steps. Once you've logged into the CorpPass page, click on the Access tab, followed by View Entities eService Access. Select the eService with the description Mindef and MHA and NSPay and click on the eService name in blue. Under the Assigned Users section, select the user accounts from whom you want to remove access to the NSPay eService. Then click Remove Access. You will then be directed to an acknowledgement page. This confirms that the selected employees will no longer have access to the One NSPay eService and will not be able to manage NS Makeup pay claims. Next, you will learn how to authorize a third-party entity to manage your organization's NS Makeup Pay Claims. If your organization is engaging a third-party entity to manage NS Makeup Pay Claims, here are the steps to follow. Once you've logged into the CorpPass page, click Third Party, followed by Authorize Third-Party Entities. First, key in the third-party entity's UEN or Entity ID or Entity Name into the respective search box and click Search. You can search for the entity using partial terms, for example, HR, 
HR services, or services. If you are unable to find any search results, check with your third-party service provider regarding their CorePass access. Select the third-party entity you would like to authorize and click Next. You must select the NSP user role for your third-party entity to manage NS Makeup pay claims. Once you have selected the role, select your organization CSN and click Next. Review the details of your authorization and click Submit. You will then be directed to an acknowledgement page. Your selected third-party entity is now authorized to manage NS Makeup pay claims on your organization's behalf. You may wish to inform your third-party entity that they are now able to assign NSP e-service access rights to their employees via CorpPass. Next, you will learn how to remove authorization from a third-party entity. If you are no longer engaging this third-party entity to manage NS Makeup pay claims, their access should be removed. Here are the steps to follow. Once you've logged into the CorpPass page, click third-party followed by Manage Third-Party Entities. Choose the third-party entity from which you want to remove authorization rights, then click Remove Third-Party Entity. On the verification page, confirm the details are accurate and proceed by clicking Submit. You will then be directed to an acknowledgement page. This confirms that the selected third-party entity will no longer be able to access the 1NSP e-service and manage NS Makeup pay claims on your organization's behalf.